Hi there folks, <laughs> and fellow guitarists. I just thought I'd do this episode on guitar. I've been rece researching some uh, guitar and mathematics and stuff. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the picture and I'll play the, uh, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> okay, so here we've got um, an open A string, which say if that's 110 hertz which means it's vibrating 110 times a second 220 330 440 550 660 770 880 990 um, so yeah these these chords obviously these harmonics obviously go in the other direction exactly the same places okay so what I wanted to demonstrate there is that the there's places where the strings resonate I've just depicted these as big circles obviously the string doesn't swing that much just for demonstration purposes and for mathematical purposes but as you can see you have these numbers one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now you've got 12 th frets in an, in an octave. The 13th fret is then the, the actual octave. Okay, so you've got one. Uh, so obviously it starts from zero, so you can't forget to uh, count the zero, um, which is why the 13 is a mysterious number. Okay, so you've got, say, First note, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, you see? <laughs> so an octave in, in really 12, there's 12 notes in an octave. Um, so th the correlation between base 10, which is like 0 to 9 in numbers, and base 12, I've been looking for this correlation for a long time, and I've been looking for um, a kind of a measuring stick or a ruler uh, in base 12 um, in like a, logarithm a logarithmic met method which means that each of the divisions of that ruler would be getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. I didn't really know what I meant but I was like kind of looking for something that can measure fractals so you can measure say a, a snail or a shell where it gets smaller and smaller and obviously you're measuring kind of inwards. Well. Maybe you don't understand what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm not even explaining it right. Um, in any case, you can see on the picture that uh, th 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 this is the ruler. There is a ruler. You know, we've got tw 12 frets goes up to here, and then 24 frets gets up to here, and then 30, 30, 24, 36, yeah, 48. And it actually never, never, ever will reach the uh, the end here, as you can see on that picture. Um, I think, yeah or maybe on the next pictures. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, and I'll leave you with the picture, and you can have a look and see where the, the overtones are crossing over. And you can also see that the overtones are, represent numbers 1 to 10, or 1 to 9 in that case. Interesting thing, just before I close up, is that this one here... is an octave of this. Here, on the same fret but 12 it's an octave higher you can also hear that's the same octave it goes all the way up so the 9 always fits the the second note of the scale which is odd like I say I'll put up some more about this later on I just wanted to get this one out and you can have a have a bit of a look at it before I put the next one out so yeah keep shredding. <laughs> Cheerio.